Yo, what is up guys, Ghost here, welcome back to Stormgate Central, and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the new units, or some of the new units I should say, from the creep camps of Stormgate. So finally, after months and even years of us looking at chickens and deer and wondering what kind of creep camps we're actually going to get for the game, some of them have been unveiled. And even more, we found out that the concept artist behind them is actually Samwise Didier, Didier, I'm sorry if I butchered the name there Sam, but um, for those of you who don't know who Samwise is, he is of Blizzard fame, he's been working at Blizzard since 1991 I believe, he recently left the company and I believe he is now freelance, but he is the guy, or one of the guys, responsible for some of your guys' favourite characters if you're a massive Blizzard fan like I am, so whether it's Warcraft, World of Warcraft, Starcraft, he has just got so many iconic characters that he's created and the fact that he's now working on designing concept art for Stormgate is something that is going to be of great benefit to the game I think. So before we delve into this guys if you do enjoy the content here on the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button, lots more to come here as we ramp up to the next beta test with the third faction, I'm going to be putting out guides, casts, news of course and if you guys could do me a favor and you watch my videos regularly go and check if you actually are subscribed below because over 70 percent of you are not subscribed so thank you guys so much for checking that out and as always thanks for the support so here are the scavengers and as you guys can see there are four different models he did say also that this is just one of the different types of creeps so i don't think all of the creeps are going to be scavengers there may be different races that we're going to see he did mention he wasn't allowed to show us that yet this is all he can show us for the time being but there are these dogs here so these are not to be confused with the vanguard scouts the robotic dogs these are part of the scavenger crew i guess and then we have this base melee guy here with the really huge knife machete type thing on his arm you'll also notice on his back he has these green cylinders what they kind of look like stim packs he's ridden down junker juice here and as you can see by the drawing they kind of slot into something on his back so you know really mad max inspired stuff here i really like these designs this here is a ranged guy with twin flamethrowers or a flamethrower on each arm he's also got a flamethrower coming out of his head and then he's got of course the gas canister on the back there and then we have the scavenger boss here with a circular saw on one arm double rocket launches on the shoulders and i'm not sure what this is on the right arm it looks like some kind of some kind of weapon like a minigun but um this is really really cool i love these concepts so far and i'm just super stoked that samwise is working on the game because pretty much everything he creates i absolutely salivate over it just looks so good and it brings so much immersion and life to the game. I also know that one of the big points of criticism for Stormgate has been the art direction and the art itself, so I think to have him on board here, I think he's going to be a big benefit to the company, and hopefully it should put some people's minds at ease when it comes to the artwork as well, because he does mention, and he has a whole video on this, by the way, where he explains the you know conceptual phase of these pieces of concept art here and how he layers them up, and I will link that video down below because it's very interesting. But he's talking about the fact that a lot of the people over at Frost Giant are people that he used to work with. So he's been doing a lot of the concept art for the game. And then he sends that over to the guys at Frost Giant and they create the models from his concept art. I'm not sure if he's already done any of the other concept art. So no idea if he's worked on units for the Vanguard or for the Infernals or any other race in the game for that matter. But it's nice to see that he's at least working on the creep camps now. And maybe this is why they've taken so long to actually unveil any of the creep camps and get them into the game. Now, another thing worth mentioning is that the one thing that we really do know, pretty much the only thing we know about the third faction, is that they're going to have some special ability that allows them to, let's say, interact with the creeps in the game. Now, he mentioned that this isn't the only kind of creep in the game. This is most likely not the only race. So maybe those creeps that they are able to interact with are the scavengers, but maybe they're not. So perhaps we shouldn't read too much into it. Personally, I think the possibility of the third faction being some sort of angelic faction is the most likely scenario. And I'm sat here sort of scratching my head thinking what sort of ability could they have outside of just like some sort of generic mind control to allow them to interact with the scavengers here. So, you know, maybe the third faction aren't angels or maybe the faction of creeps that they can interact with aren't the scavengers. Who knows? But if you guys have any thoughts of your own on the matter, then leave them down in the comments below and uh, 
fill me in. So that is about going to do it for this one, guys. Quite a short video for the time being. News is pretty slow on Stormgate at the moment, but as we get closer to the next beta phase, which is releasing in late April and is codenamed Frigate, that will have the third faction, I can only assume that the information is going to start to ramp up a little bit as we get closer there. So keep your eyes peeled to the channel. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video today. Subscribe for more Stormgate, and I'll see you guys in the next one.